Hey guys, it's me, Perry, jumping right into part two here of the build of these two rudder blades, a primary and an emergency spare. Now, if you missed the initial build of these rudder blades, please check out the last episode uh, right over here. Just try to ignore the objects I have behind me here. That's for a future video, but I'll give you a little hint what they are. But before I get into this rudder building business, if you're new around here, this is a scow bow mini cruiser sailboat that I'm building. It is constructed of PVC foam core between fiberglass skins. This is the foam sandwich construction method. Basically, my mission here is to build a strong, trailerable 14 foot sailboat that's watertight and custom built to cross oceans. And if you are new here, please do make sure you subscribe, follow along with the build and the future sailing adventures. Now that the building and the shaping of the rudder blades is done, I get to get into fiberglassing and reinforcing with carbon fiber along with painting these rudder blades. So let's get into it. I start off by taping off one inch from the ends in preparation to fiberglass them. For fun, I decided to name my primary rudder Lightbringer. In the ancient books, it's written that a warrior will draw a burning sword from the fire, and that sword shall be Lightbringer. And my spare rudder, Narseal. The flame of the West forged from the shards of Narseal. The blade was broken. They're named after fictional swords. Every good blade needs a name, right? To allow the cloth to more easily contour to the corners, I use fiberglass cut at a 45 degree angle to the weave. I'd never tried this before, but I can confirm it works quite well. Once finished, I put some saran wrap over the ends and taped them down. Once my work has cured, I remove the peel ply and trim the edges of the fiberglass with my utility knife. Next, I need to sand the edges smooth to prepare for the major fiberglass work to come. Finally, it's time to cover these in fiberglass. I give the plywood a nice coat of epoxy first. I place two strips of carbon fiber down the length of each side. The purpose of these is to increase the lateral strength of the blades. Then I cover the entire blades with two more layers of six ounce fiberglass. As always, I follow this up with a layer of peel ply to reduce the need for sanding afterward.
In a few spots, the fiberglass needed repair where it didn't adhere properly near tighter corners. So I cut out the fiberglass there and sand it smooth again. All right, and here I've added some marine fairing compound where needed. And now just a little more sanding to get these smooth. All right, there's my spare rudder Narseal all sanded up and ready for paint. And enter Lightbringer, the primary rudder. Beautiful, done. Now we can wipe them down and paint. Well, we've got some epoxy barrier coats on there, and now I'm going to do some light sanding with 320 grit. I've taped up this section on both sides because I really can't allow this part of the blade to get any thicker. It fits just perfectly inside the cassette box. So it's only gonna have primer on it. Someone in the comments asked to see how these install. It's pretty simple. I just slide the blade into the cassette box and the line through the top keeps it from sliding down any further. Then I take a bungee and secure the blade in the cassette with it. If the blade hits something in the water, the bungee absorbs the blow, sparing the pintles and the leading edge of the rudder. If the blade does break, that's why I've built the emergency spare. Not many boats carry a spare rudder when going to sea, so I think this serves as a great advantage. Rudder failure is the most common reason boats seem to abandon ocean passages, so I've always planned to employ this redundancy. Show 
Well, I love how those turned out and I can't wait to see them in action. It occurred to me that a clever solution for a protecting bag for them to keep them safe in the car or the spare one that's strapped up in the cabin from uh, scratching the paint or anything like that would be the socks that they make for surfboards. They have a drawstring at the top and they're easy to get on Amazon. So if you'd like to buy a present for the boat, I encourage you to check out the Amazon wish list and you could pick up one of those surfboard socks for the new rudder blade. And also I put some line on there that I need for the steering gear system. Or if you'd like to do another type of one-time contribution, there's super thanks. And also a really big help are the guys who are Patreon members. Patreon members get to see videos 24 hours in advance and have been massively helpful in helping to move this project along. Coming up in the next video, I don't want to give it away, but it's something that rhymes with meal deals or eel wheels. And it's something I think that people have been looking forward to seeing for quite a while. But anyway, make sure you leave a friendly comment, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in the next one. Support yes. to make all preparations for getting on the way. Hey, uh, what's that? Home. Uh, Home, uh, uh, get back to your station or I'll have you shot from here. Uh, well, shoot, suck. Uh,